happy, sad, frustrated, irritated, blah, cranky, angry, depressed, blah. Moods are basically the state of our emotions. Happy, positive moods sets us up for success. This is when you are at your best, both behavior as well as action-wise. The negative moods though typically create more drama in our lives. This is when you assume more, you create stories in your head, you argue a lot, you complain a lot and of course the ego is at its peak. Mood swings are natural and part of our lives. I have it all the time and I can vouch this for all my fellow ladies in the world that we have our mood swings. But I never really understood whether men have mood swings as well or no. So I decided I'll ask a couple of my friends and this is what they sent. Mood swings? Me? Of course yes. I feel blue. I see red. Yes, we do have mood swings. I feel blue. I see red. Of course, yes, we have mood swings too. And do have mood swings. Yes, we do. I see blue. I see red. We are also human. Men do go through them. Why do we have that? Why does it happen? The triggers could be different. The various triggers. It just could be some loud noise when man wants peace. Who says it has got to do only with women? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And yes, men do have mood swings. Mood swings for women though are more from within. We can all blame it on our hormones, ladies. But for men, it's kind of different. But before we get there, I wanted to tell you that mood swings are okay as long as you are not harmed by it. They are okay as long as you are controlled and you contain them. But when they begin to harm you and you are able to see a drastic change in your behavior or a drastic spike in your mood, that's when you need professional help. Because untreated extreme mood swings can lead to bipolar disorder, which is growing rampantly across the globe as we speak. So how do we know whether our moods are normal or extreme? The best way for you to understand that is to track it. You can use one of the journaling apps that I spoke about in my previous video or you, if you want a more simplified version, you can download my mood journal which I call as urine pixel from my website. Print it out and track your moods in it daily. Here's what I do. I printed it out and added it into my organizer and every evening I mark my predominant mood of that day into the tracker. Every quarter I look at the sheet and understand how my moods were, how productive I was, how happy my loved ones are with me and I try and see if there are any spikes and if they are I, f I try and find out what are the triggers that are affecting my mood. So basically tracking your moods will only help you identify what is causing them. It will help you identify the triggers and typically I bucket these triggers into two separate categories. The first one is food triggers. Are there any specific kind of foods or beverages that you consume that are triggering your moods? What we put in our body largely affects our moods. The right kind of food provides nutrients that feed, nourish and protect our brain. The healthy foods, that is, create building blocks of hormones and brain chemicals that help regulate our mood. The wrong foods, though, not only lack in your essential nutrients, but they contain compounds that trigger biochemical reactions which cause spikes in our moods. So the next time you're spiking in your moods, you may want to check what you are putting into your body. The second category is physical or environmental triggers. What kind of an environment are you surrounded in? Stress, anxiety, pollution, too much of screen time, too less sleep, no time to relax, all these are contributing factors to your mood swings. There is also an inappropriate seasonal changes that we are experiencing globally that are affecting our moods. Understanding what is actually causing you your mood swing will help you control it better. So how do you control your mood swings? Well, the answer is really simple, it's not rocket science. Exercise, healthy diet, proper sleep, pursuing your hobby, taking a time out, meditation. They are the solution to most of our lifestyle problems. So I'll not dwell into it because I'm sure you've heard it a million times before. 
But what I'll do is I'll come back and share with you one of the aspects that will help you in getting over your lifestyle issues. But that is next week. That's it for me for this week. Do you have a topic that you wanted me to talk about? Do let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Keep sending me all your positive vibes. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. And until then, you take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.